Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you some Breezia stuff. It's gonna be a couple of blushes, highlighters, and eyeshadows. I wanna get this video up because I know that Breezia is having their Black Friday sale this weekend. So I think that a review, some swatches on some of their items would really be helpful. So I'm wearing a, what is it? It's Too Faced. A, one of their matte liquid lipsticks. Look at this. Normal, lips stretched out. Ugh, it looks so bad. I liked the color, but I forgot how much I hated this formula. It's too late now. I'm just gonna go with it, but thought I would share. That's the Too Faced liquid lipsticks. Ooh. I'm gonna start off by saying my favorite bronzer from the line is Chai Cupcake. I've already talked about this in another Breezia video, so I'll try to link that video down below, but that is my favorite bronzer. Okay, now here are some blushes. This is Jungle Madness from the um, Mean Girls line, and it's a pretty much purple blush. Look at that, it's a sample bag I have here. You can go in with the light hand or build it up to make it look brighter on the cheeks, but it's definitely cool tone. It's an interesting color. Um, I think that it's pretty if you like cool tones. Well, obviously it is pretty. Um, it's a very unique color. If you like cool tones, I think you will really like this blush. It wears nicely, it looks very pretty on the cheeks, but cool tone blushes are not my thing, so I don't really like the way it looks on me, but on days when I don't really care about being flattering, and I just wanna be, I guess, funky and out there, I do still like to wear this blush. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not like a heavy glitter that looks bad on your cheeks. Next I have Beware of Plastics, also from the Mean Girls line. That's what it looks like. It's very bright, but it just wakes up your face. That's what that looks like. Don't be afraid by its brightness. It's really pretty on the cheeks. I love this one. It's not completely matte. It has a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's not unflattering again. I really like Breezia's blushes matte and the ones that have shimmer in it because the shimmer is nice on the cheeks. It doesn't accentuate pores or anything. Next is Regulation Hottie Blush, also from Mean Girls. For me, it's too light to be a blush. If you're a very light skin tone, it may work as a blush. For me, it's more as a highlight, but it does lean a little bit more cool. Next is Sunrise. It says it's a highlighting powder and blush. Again, if you have really light skin tone, this would be nice on you. Or if you're like my skin tone or darker, it'd probably be a highlighter. But the highlighter, I would call it more cool tone because it does have a pink shift to it. This is Inheritance from um, a show called Downtown Abbey. I don't know because I didn't watch that show, but I think that's from this line, the Downtown Abbey line. This is very pigmented. It's a very pretty blush. Look at that. I almost want to put this on my eyes. I've never done it before, but I think it will look really pretty on the eyes. If you use a light hand, of course, lighter skin tones can wear it. But if you have very deep skin tone, this would be a good one. That's Inheritance. Last blush and my favorite one of them all this is from the Mean Girls line, and it's the October 3rd. It has a sifter. Put this one right here. What? <laughs> okay, so that's October 3rd right there. It looks kind of similar to Beware of Plastics, but it's a little bit more muted. This one's a lot brighter. And this one is matte, and that has a little bit of shimmer. It's definitely on the warm side, which is why it's my favorite. Next is the Aura Glow highlighters. I got two as samples to try them out because they were new and I wasn't sh sure what they were or how to use them because I did see a video on them and all the powders looked pretty much white, so I didn't really know how that was gonna work out. 
when you blend it out is when you can really see the color. So I picked two. The one I got here is Happiness. So that's Happiness right there. You see how it went on white at first and then once you start blending it out, then you can really see its color. And that's like a yellow. This one's really pretty. Next Aura Glow is Playful and it's fun. So it looks white. Put it on my finger. You can see when you first place it on there, it's white. But once you start blending it out, it starts changing. I'm going to build it up a little more. It's hard to see this one. And it's definitely prettier in person. If you can see it on my finger right here, because I don't know why the swatch on my arm isn't working out, but what it looks like on my finger is exactly what it looks like on the face. You see how it has like that orange, red, kind of bronzy. I really like the Aura Glow highlighters because as the day goes on and as it warms up and mixes with the natural oils on your skin, the color just pops so beautifully and it looks really nice and kind of natural in a way even though the color isn't very natural but somehow it just looks that way i know the aura glow has like purples and greens which i've never tried those but obviously that wouldn't look so natural so that's kind of why i got the happiness and playful because those are the two that seemed more warm tone and more natural out of the whole bunch now I'm gonna talk about eyeshadows. I'm gonna start with the ones that were not my favorites first, and that is Cranberry Fizz. Cranberry Fizz really got me excited when I saw it online because online the swatch looked really beautiful and it I think it was probably over the, um, what's that thing called? Adhesive Eye Wax. I don't have that, but I did try using it with rose water and glycerin and I still couldn't pick up what it looks like online. So when you see it in the jar, it looks very sparkly and pretty. But when I put it on my eye, it doesn't come on that strong like the purple of it. It looks kind of like a very, very light lilac that kind of looks a little bit almost white on my lid and then you just see little sparkle flecks throughout. I can't get the sparkle to really stick on throughout the day. It just kind of starts to disappear. This is what it looks like on my finger. Right here. So you see how pretty it looks on my arm? For some reason, I cannot get it to look like that on my eye, but I really wish that it did. Again, I don't know if you need like the eye wax primer, maybe that would help, but I don't. And I can't get it to work with rose water and glycerin. So I don't know, but I, I would, I think I'm gonna get the adhesive eye wax to try to get this to work because I really like this color and I wish that it would look like that on the eye. I guess I'll report back on this one after I try it with the adhesive eye wax if it works for me. Next one is I Don't Age and it's, got a really cool sticker on it it's a meme of Johnny Depp it says I don't always age but when I do I don't I think that's so cute and funny it looked a little bit different online the swatch online um, it looked like a little bit darker so it's definitely a lot lighter in person this is what it looks like on my finger and this is what it looks like swatched out it looks very pretty but on my lid I can't really get it to stay again it might be that I need the adhesive eye wax. I don't know. I can report back on it. But when I try to put it in my crease, it doesn't really look like this. And it, it doesn't really adhere well to my lid and in my crease. So this is one that I just found a little bit more difficult to work with. It's lace dresses. And this is a cool tone one. It looks kind of gold on my finger. Maybe like a taupe type of gold. On my lid, I can't really get it to look like that. And in the crease, it just doesn't look very nice. Maybe if you're much lighter skin tone, maybe you can get this to work better for your skin tone. 
but for me I don't know my skin tone it just looks kind of odd and out of place on my skin I don't really like it can't get it to look nice on the lid or in the crease it's saved by a sock and this is I think a Star Wars line I don't know I think so but that's what this one looks like it's really pretty I like this one that's saved by a sock now I'm gonna talk about my two all-time favorites from Brigia on the lid and the first one is and my favorite is woogity 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 that's so funny this is from um, I think it's rocket power yeah I think the show was called rocket power and it was like online the way she uh, said it was what it was like their secret handshake or something I don't know I didn't watch rocket power when I was younger that is woogity woogity right there this looks so gorgeous on the lid it's like a magenta purple that leans kind of warm I love this one it's my favorite this one is Betsy's sorbet and this is like a pink pink purple type of color and this is warm tone also I feel like the woogity woogity leans warm so this is Betsy Sorbet, and I feel like this one leans kind of warm too. That's the way it looks to me on my eyes at least. They look kind of similar, but this is a little bit more pink, and this picked up a little bit more purple. But I love Betsy Sorbet also on the lid, and they both perform extremely well on the lids. And I don't even need the adhesive eye wax primer to achieve um, good intensity. Is Nigel's Adventure Vest, and you are if you are very light in skin tone you will like this one as a brow bone highlight or maybe it could even be a transition color for you it's very yellow almost white that's Nigel's adventure vest right there for me it's too light to use as a brow bone highlight just looks kind of white and stark on my brow bone next is 90s kid 90s kid is pretty much like my skin tone that's 90s kid it doesn't look nice on my brow bone and I, it's too light for me to use as a starting transition color so for me this one doesn't really work but for lighter skin tone this would work as a really nice transition color it's alone in the world this is a little bit darker than 90s kid and this one is my favorite it is perfect as a transition color see how it's more of a peachy color so when I think of these two I kind of think of makeup geek how they have um, beaches and cream and peach smoothie I think that's what it is I hope I'm not wrong but for me beaches and cream is too light and peach smoothie is perfect so I prefer peach smoothie over beaches and cream so everyone you know has a favorite either beaches and cream works for them or peach smoothie if you're darker skin tone peach smoothie would work for you so that's kind of how I feel like when I look at these two when I look at 90s kid and peach I'm sorry alone in the world alone in the world works better for a more medium skin tone if you're lighter then you would go with 90s kid if you're gonna be using it as a crease transition color but these are really awesome very pigmented blend out very beautifully I've got three more eyeshadows and I'm gonna start off talking about the Abbey this is what the Abbey looks like in the pot this is what it looks like on my finger swatch it here the Abbey reminds me of preppy from makeup geek referencing makeup geeks just in case you are familiar with makeup geek eyeshadows and you want to try mineral shadows and something more natural and if these are some shadows that that you like and you're looking for a more natural alternative that's why i'm referencing makeup geeks in my last brigia video in the description i put uh names of makeup geek eyeshadows also that i thought were similar to some brigia ones this is a really nice kind of like mustardy brown color to put into the crease blends out beautifully and it's very pigmented next I have here is always the tone of surprise I love these names this is very warm tone I love this one looks very pretty blended out into the crease oh it's beautiful that is always the tone of surprise Oh, so nice. And last one is Angry Bee, which is obviously from Angry Beavers. 
that's what it looks like in the pot it's a little bit darker it's like a warm neutral earthy dark brown but not too dark and that's what that looks like that's always the tone of surprise again another one that blends out nicely but going easy because it is very pigmented and it's so dark so definitely go in with the light hand at first and build that one up as needed so that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that it was helpful thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye